What's up? This your boy Charleston White. Another episode, man, uh, of the Game Related Podcast. What's up with it, fam? Hey, man, you know what time it is, man. Got that boy Do over here, man. Uh, another goddamn me great episode on this Game Related Podcast. Elevation is the motherfucking me key. And we got a nigga that done elevated, you heard me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I, I, I really, I, I still been trying to process uh, who, 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 who and what he is. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, coming out of Mississippi. So, so, so it, it's easy to overlook the diamonds in the rough. Uh, but, but, but now, nah, man, uh, I, if I had to compare what I saw, uh, uh, I saw BMF operating. In, in the beginning stages from a legal standpoint, from a legal side. Yeah. That, that, that's, that, yeah, that, that's what I seen, homie. Uh, yeah, that's what I seen. Uh, that's a big statement. I appreciate it. Yeah, so uh, introduce yourself, man, to the crowd, to the audience, to the airwaves. Let them know who who, 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 who on the stage tonight. I'm easy, bro. I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, a lot of people know me by mile. A lot of people know me by me. I started out as an artist uh, over 10 years ago. I had a lot of artists that kind of fell up under my blueprint. Uh, I kind of switched over to, to uh, marketing, and I kind of took the stuff that I learned in the uh, music business and kind of transitioned over to film with it being less saturated. You kind of have every, everywhere you go, especially in the black community, you got a, a young black individual talking about he got a mixtape. So, when I seen that nobody really had uh, films as far as on the independent level with the same popular local people, I was like, okay, if I put together a film and I put this person apart or put this person apart, uh, it can be successful because we don't have no competition. I had, you know, I, somebody like, yeah, you I, I had a movie producer here had that same concept with all of the popular local people, uh, but then Mo3 died. Uh, so, so, so to come see you, uh, uh, you know, put that blueprint together and, you know, just for the, uh, man, just for the sake of the culture, uh, you had, and, 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 and we, we're going to go back to the beginning of who Measy is and how he became who he is, uh, but just for the sake of the culture, you were able to put together an event. Now, everybody telling me, man, don't go to Jackson, Mississippi, man, them niggas killing out there. No, nah, don't go. Right. So you put together an event, and it had niggas from all sides of town there, niggas who wouldn't normally typically stand next to each other without any conflict. How 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 significant was how significant was this movie? How significant was putting people locally from the city in this movie, and, and how did that affect that night? Uh, I mean, for first off, it's a big accomplishment to be able to do the certain things. Like, for instance, uh, being able to put certain people in movies that you know don't supposed to be in there together, even being in the same room, that that comes from a level of respect. So that's more than anything. Right, like, right. uh, and not only that, uh, like I think I told you uh firsthand. I'm able to uh, change people's futures. And, it, and like I say, it might not be financially, but you might have that little girl that's going to school every day and they're asking her what her dad do for a living. And he might be a robber or killer. Now he, she able to say, hey, he in a movie. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of just changing the narrative yeah, for certain yeah. people that come up from poverty environments like myself. Yeah. That's good game, uh, take, good take, game. Take, take us back to the beginning, man. Was you, you, you born mom and dad married? Uh, oh, but yeah, now, Single parent, mother, but I'm a granddad, baby. Like, uh, my granddad, my grandparents raised me. Uh, like I said, I'm from, uh, I don't know how to really describe my neighborhood, but the whole Jackson as a whole is just, uh, it's a condensed city. I mean, when I say that, it's majority black. So anytime you got a city that's 180,000 all black people and 10,000 white people, you're going to have a lot of killing, and et cetera. So, I mean, we the second largest uh, African-American city in the United States. So, I mean, Detroit being number one, 
that's 90% black in Jackson, Mississippi being number two with 200,000 people and being 90% black. So, I mean, if that, with that understanding, you get it right there that we the culture. So when people talking about killing in nice clothes or drugs, sex or whatever, they talking about us. They talking about Detroit. They talking about uh, uh, Mobile, Alabama, Jackson, Mississippi. So I don't think it's hard to sell the culture inside the culture. Especially mm-hmm. when you're doing something different than everybody else. Mm. Mm. Oh, man, you just opened my eyes to something. Oh, you got a whole market. You got, you yeah. got, that's the culture. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, no, nowhere else in America uh, can, does that reflect uh, of a city right. is majority black people. Exactly. What what's this like so, growing? Well, explain to us, homie. What's this like growing up in school, learning about your blackness in an all black place? I mean, far as school go, I was a little different. I really was the type of person to kind of go to school and just really uh try to you know do enough just to get by. I really didn't take interest in a lot of the stuff that was being taught in school because I felt like you know. It wasn't right. So, I mean, teaching me uh, black history inside of a black poor city is like mental separation. So I never kind of fell into that. I really always wanted to see bigger and see past that. I wanted to see white people. I wanted to see Asians. I wanted to see other people. So, I mean, that's really my story. Like, I really never, you know. So, like I say, even when you was here, we kind of, uh, we went to uh, Meg Elvis career. That's right down the street for me. So it wasn't nothing for me to really learn because it's inside me. It was already. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Real talk. Oh man, See, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Because when we when when you said say man, uh, we finna go down the street, homie. Not around yeah. the corner. We finna go down the street, man. And we went right down yeah, the street. Made, yeah, we made, we made one turn. Yeah, yeah, made yeah, one yeah. He grew yeah, right up with Meg Elvis. Yeah, 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 yeah. We went so the history of Jackson was right there in your front yard, homie. So I can understand what you're saying. Yeah, that, so they didn't have know, to learn black history. They, they knew it. They, they knew, knew black history. They knew black, black history. Is yeah. out, outside. Yeah. And, and so with that being said too, dude, Barry, like, I, and, and far as like, I, I have some wrong to it, but I really be against kind of educating the black history because like where I'm from, it's kind of like a mental setback. I really want to, I'm trying to push the culture forward and I'm kind of try to delete the word racism. Cause like I said, I don't believe in racism. I believe in disrespect and respect because a white person that will disrespect me or disrespect his own. So I've been trying to push the cult- culture forward and really like delete the word racism and just, you know, kind of look for disrespect and respect and just keep moving forward. Because like I say, when you mention the word Mississippi, a lot of people refer back to slavery, racism, and country. And I'm really, as me being a leader, I'm trying to push that narrative away because, like I say, with y'all coming down here, it wasn't none country about what was going on. No, 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 say, talk, say you talking about in all my time of riding with celebrity, and this ain't nothing to get my celebrity people now. We done kicked it had fun like and we get in places free. But no, 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 no. I'm talking about entourage. Every nigga got big chain. Say, 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 no, no, hey, no. Hey, say, no. I ain't seen no fat person. I ain't seen no fat woman. I ain't seen no bad bill woman. Everybody was fine. I say, you know these niggas got to be the nigga. They, we got, we got, we got, we got fat women. They just stayed in and like, you know, everybody put this shit on and, you know, the right people came out and the right people, the wrong people stayed at home. Say, man, we went to seven different locations. I went to sleep in one of them. But listen, <laughs> all I know is I can remember. Say, man, everybody was right. Even at the red carpet, uh, nobody was underdressed. Nobody was... Man, it's like everybody respected what this was, and we finna make this something for. Nah, man, that was, uh, yeah, now nah, black love, yeah, black love, man. So, and, and, and one thing, and another thing is this here, homie. Uh, like you just said, nah, man. I told, I would call my partner and tell him, nah, nigga, we ain't in no country. Man, these niggas, these niggas moving like some big city slickers, man. Say, man. I'm talking about everything these niggas did was big, but the most important thing, man that 
that I speak about is the respect. Is the respect that y'all gave, homie. Is that the love that y'all showed. I'm talking about every time it was always, man, y'all good, y'all straight. What's up? What we? It was like, man, and right. it, 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 to get that man from somebody is is of our kind. So, so that's it's why great, my nigga. Uh, so, so that's why, that's why I was upset. Uh, when the narrative came out about the breezy situation. Cause I'm saying, nah, man. Right, right. Uh, these people ain't. These people didn't set nothing up. This ain't like nothing. This wasn't about to be nothing like that. Right. Nah, man. This was something bigger than right. anybody could have ever imagined until it happened. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Oh, definitely. Nah, nah, nah. Me and Breezy, we worked together. Uh, Breezy was in the movie. Uh, that I just shot Double Crosses. Uh, it'll be on platforms in about two months. And uh, I produced the album for him. Uh, about. Five months ago, the album charted to like top 32. That was our first time working together, and that was the biggest tape he had of his uh career, if I'm not mistaken. And, and from uh, and, and from what you told me, he got a podcast coming out, right? Uh yeah, he working on he working on his own podcast. Uh yeah, he he definitely working on his own podcast. And like I told you, uh that was a conversation we had uh prior when I let him know that Charleston was uh coming to the movie premiere. He discussed how he felt. And me being the type of person I am, like, you know, everybody around me is respectful. So I knew it wasn't going to be anything, you know, as far as everybody is changing how they felt verbally. So I told him, when you see Charleston, if you really feel like that, you know, say what you got to say. And uh, I feel like both par both parties said what they had to say and got their point across from their point of life or where they came from and how they was raised. Yeah. Oh. Uh and then I and then and then I learned some things about the young brother, uh, that 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 most people probably don't know outside of Chicago, uh. So I'm like, well, shit, homie, that's what you know. Once I learned that, see, I'm big on the backstory, so that's why when 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 you give me a rapper, man, fuck that rapper. I try to look over the shoulder or whoever. Man, what's his name? Where are you from? Who? Is, so give me the backstory. So that's why it's easy for me to dismiss. Uh, the the persona of a rapper. So when 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 you whispered in my ear and said, "Man, a young nigga, mama was a gang. He born into this. They don't know nothing else." Yeah. I said, "Man, well, we you know we don't understand that down here. Right. Well, so, nigga, so, 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 right. yeah, let's bring us together. Let's bring us together where we can all come to an understanding. Cause they don't understand how I can say the things that I say." Right. So let me say it like this, though, Charleston. I can't. I really like when it come down to that conversation. I'm in the middle, but I'm not really in the middle. I come from, you know, where we from in Mississippi, we don't really bang. It's a gang culture, you know, you got GD, VDs, like all the above, but we don't really just bang. But uh, I still come from that from that background, but it's not like a Chicago or New York or California. But at the same time, everybody not able to overcome them mental battles growing up, like far as, in the territorial beef, like everybody not able to overcome that and look past it. Like, so when I see somebody that's from a different neighborhood or somebody that's supposed to be an op or somebody that's a cousin of somebody that I, I you know, supposed to like, dislike me, I'm able to over, look over that because I'd have made it to that point in life. So everybody not at that point, and you know, uh, sometimes it's not, you know, really they fought or sometimes it's not really a bad thing. You got people that's successful, you got people that's millionaires, rappers that still mentally at that point so like yeah. i say i can't see yeah i can't see that no right or wrong in it i just know what i want for myself personally yeah, yeah. oh you know what I'm saying? So, well, well that's why that's why i'm glad man you 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 was able uh to allow that to be facilitated uh right. because what what it what it what it will do uh and what i recognize from the beginning uh the the young brother approach with with questions What's your problem? Right. Why? So as, as me knowing what I know, man, he trying to understand something, and I I want to understand that shit too, cause I can't understand that shit. So so I said, nah, man, this 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 right here, this right here can open open some doors. This so so uh soon as he get yeah, as soon as he get his podcast, homie, uh yeah, we gonna help. I, I'm gonna help blow it up by me and him having. Uh, 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 a sit-down conversation uh, 
and Breezy wanted he wanted the smart ones out of Chicago. I gotta give it to him like he he he's smart. And I mean, shit, by him still being alive and knowing how to move, that, that's enough to say he's Well, uh let me just say so, this. Uh somebody called in. Uh I think they was out of New York or somebody, but somebody called in two weeks ago and they spoke real highly of that guy. Uh, oh spoke, yeah. yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they spoke. Yeah. They, 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 they. In the yeah. airport. In the airport. Now it's the airport. airport. Yeah, they yeah, met him in the airport. Airport. Uh, uh, airport. After that situation yeah, in Mississippi, they, in the airport. they ran into him at the airport. Yeah. Uh, and they spoke real highly of of of, of his level of intelligence and uh how he carried his. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they yeah. did. But you know one thing I can say though, during that situation, and nigga Meezy came right there while I was at and said. Everything good, my nigga. My nigga came right there. Now yeah. everything good, my nigga. He need to hear this. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, 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 people don't get it. People don't yeah. know what happened and what's went on when you around bosses and when you around people that's real leaders, homie. Now nah, they move different, homie. They move totally right. different. See, see, listen. If Go back and watch the film or not. I'm painting a picture. I'm painting this beautiful picture. I Man, you can write a book. You can close your... Just go back and listen to my depiction of how when we got there from the incident. Now, how I paint it, I leave it up to you to, to how to paint the situation, right? I'm telling you as people, there's grandmother sitting on the porch. When we get out the car, now Measy really walked up to the door, but in somebody else's mind, they go think it's somebody trying to come check her. I, I didn't, I didn't clear. It, it's really some old niggas there, some old OGs. Some old niggas. Some old, 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 some yeah, uncles there. niggas in there, man. Yeah, <laughs> so, so, but, and they were sharp, so yeah. I'm telling, I'm painting a picture. Oh, uh, but now, nah, man, uh, this would probably, man, and man, this is one of my best experiences. Uh, man, it's one of my best experiences uh, in, in my life. One of them. This is up in the top no, this ten. This now, nah, nah, my this trip to Mississippi, my nigga. Yeah, we was on Parkway, my nigga. <laughs> Parkway that real now, nah, Charles. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be one of mine, Charles. That why when I uh. You know, of course, with me being executive producer, I the one got to choose the premiere date. So, man, I took me a trip to Africa like Friday before just to really just, you know what I'm saying, just just to uh, get a kickback or a fastback of your life and just how, you know, it being the last past five years to now to get into one minute in life. So, man, like, shit, that's def definitely one of the biggest and best nights of my life, bro. And uh, shit, everybody else made, everybody made it a part, I mean, possible. Everybody apart made it possible. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, for real. So, uh, you you had Jackson State, uh, uh, uh university players out there, man. I'm saying, man, it was, it was, it was, man, them niggas cleaning the motherfucker. I out wasn't there. there, man. Man, I, man, I, man, I, man, I said, man, I said, so I said, goddamn, Charles, I thought, man. I was looking at them. I man. said, my nigga, all these niggas got these dive hats on. These niggas got. I said, man, these. I told man, you, man, said, nigga, what we the going, fuck, man? I this? said, nigga, we going to a red. But I'm thinking, nigga, nigga, you didn't know. No, nah, but listen to what I'm saying. You gotta realize something, homie. I'm thinking Jackson, Mississippi. So I'm thinking like, man, nah, them nigga country, bro. It ain't nothing like that. Man, when we pulled up, now, when I seen these niggas, these niggas got on necklace where you couldn't even see the words on the motherfucker. Them all had so many uh, diamonds and that shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> what the fuck these uh, niggas listen, do? <laughs> and I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't tell dude what we, I ain't tell him now, man, a nigga in Africa. I ain't telling him nothing. No, about. he ain't telling me. Oh, 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 yeah, I ain't telling him nothing. Yeah, 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 man. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, now nah, it was a good experience, bro. Like, like I said, I enjoyed the hell out of myself. Uh, Charleston, my mom didn't even know who you was till she seen you in the front yard. Now she ain't, she ain't got off your page yet. She seen me every video. Yeah, I gotta clean it up. I gotta clean it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, but that, that's what I was telling people. Like, yeah, like I say, with me being young, Charleston, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, people my age and coming from my background. They might not understand a lot of stuff. See, I'm in, like I say, I'm mentally in the middle. So a lot of stuff you saying, first of all, I'm going to say this. It's most civilized people out here that's in this world, in America, that's going to agree with you over street niggas. So that's my message to us street niggas. It's not many of us anyway. So any people that's going at you for really basically saying you disagree with a black man, being uh, hurting another black man, it's, it's small of us. 
The, yeah. the ones who disagree with you, we getting killed. We dying. We going to jail. So people that are civilized that paying taxes is way more of them. It's it's five hundred million white people and it's a hundred probably like 50 million black people and out of 50 million shit, 20 of us finna die. So like I said, it's more civilized people out here than street niggas. So I'm caught up in the middle mentally, but it's a blessing to be going in that direction to being able to mentally like it's- Oh, well, I, 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 uh, I don't, I'm not a party, right? I'm a, I'm a, right. I'm a, I'm a observer. Uh, right. Every now and then I party. So I, I waited till my last day to party uh, with you guys because I wanted to look, I wanted to see, I wanted to take in, uh, I wanted to connect, uh, and I didn't want to miss nothing. Uh, right. so, so so I sat, so them, them, man, I just I was just taking it in, uh, seeing how everybody moved. Uh, how I, I, I saw one of the main guys. It was just something about it. When he came through, the smile he had on his face, this energy, this son. I mean, and, and so yeah. his spirit grabbed mine. It's like it's like his spirit arrested mine. So I just watched this nigga. Then he saw me. He went crazy. Oh man! Oh, 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 oh. So I'm not knowing he in the movie. When his character came on, the whole movie cheered, and I said. And, 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 and based off me just observing him, mm -hmm. the response of the movie theater, it let me know. I said, he must have been the nigga wasn't supposed to make it. Calabasas, Conehead, yeah. He, uh, how, how, how do you pick your characters? How, how, how you pick your characters, uh, then how do you trust that these niggas go, go act right? I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Let me hit you like this, bro. Like. Conehead and another main character in the movie named Tierra Alexis. I basically observed them at the last movie premiere I had last year. They was in the crowd. They paid to get in, and they were turned like it was their movie. They were turned like they was in the movie. They wanted one they movie, nor was they in it. So when time came around for me to shoot my second movie, I didn't go for the people that's in my DM asking, "Hey, let me be in the movie. Let me be in the movie. Let me audition." No, I don't. I'm not looking for real actors, so there's no need to audition. I'm, I'm looking man. for real, pe real people, yeah. So these people here that I told, they had never asked me to get in a movie, but I got ten videos that I, from a night that I don't remember, and these people were having so much fun, and I don't remember seeing them or nothing. So I said, "Hey, you ever been in a movie? Of course I know you ain't never been in one. Would you like to be in one? I want to work." And shit, they they met the characters that I put them in the movies. So that's basically how I choose off energy. Like, no, not not no, off no, no acting or nothing. Yeah, off energy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, yeah, well, like, if you wanna if you wanna get in a movie off your acting skills, then go to Hollywood. Like we we what we doing it? We doing it off good niggas. Like cause we changing niggas' lives, and we <laughs> nah, we ain't trying to build. <laughs> yeah, we ain't trying to build nobody up for them to come back and fuck us over. So we doing this off energy. We don't need no contracts because that's that can be spit up, that can be cut up, or that can be used in court. We going out straight energy. Like it's no way to ever. You know, fuck that over. And, 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 let me, and let me just say this. And I don't mean to put Real you. Talk. I, I, talk. I don't mean to put your business out there. <laughs> but say, boy, them checks that nigga showed me. <laughs> yeah. I said, man, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> man, <laughs> what? Nigga, I said, we need to shoot a movie tomorrow. Tomorrow, man. We need to come back. Say, homie, I don't know why these niggas rapping. Man, man. They man. They did this. say, man, <laughs> if they saw them, if they saw that that email. Man, these niggas start rapping. Say, man, these niggas, everybody start trying to shoot movies, but I ain't gonna throw no alarm in the graveyard. I ain't gonna throw no alarm <laughs> clock in the graveyard, you man. Gonna keep it sleep. Say. <laughs> See, this is our two charts, and like, like I'm, I'm one to one, like I told you, I'm not the copycat type of guy. I'm the type of guy that wanna inspire people. So I feel like if anybody go through what I went through to shoot a movie, then I wanna work with you. Like, job done. You met me halfway, let's work. Say, man, right. say, man, I'm right. telling you, man, if y'all saw these motherfuckers, and, 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 man, this is an independent guy. Uh, so, so, before I met Murder Payne, uh, I'm hearing, before I met Measy, and my publisher was saying he worked with Murder Payne, he do this, and uh, they, they, they got this next movie coming up. And so, uh, man, I'm really not understanding because when, when you don't know, you don't know. 
Oh, uh, right. man, I'm thinking, man, these niggas ain't making no money doing this. So what they what they tell me is, they say, well, Murder Payne is the highest paid black actor on Tubi television. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, man, Tubi free. It's, you know, it ain't really free, but it, man, these niggas ain't making no money. Man, when that man right. sat me down and showed me the, the back business side of it, oh, my goodness. Nah, real talk, but that's, that's, that come with the game. I, I shot the movie. I didn't know if it was going to make uh five dollars or ten dollars so all my actors in the first movie signed uh an agreement basically saying hey they just hear you know whatever just no money so when i got paid like all my main actors i gave them like fifteen hundred dollars two thousand dollars for christmas they weren't even expect boy you a good nigga boy see i know you're a good nigga though so i you know some people sit around but but I know you're a good nigga, man. You showed us that, that you're a good nigga, man. You showed us everything that we need to have, homie. The way you move, right. the way. I mean, so, you know, it's, it's overstood. So I can see you doing something like that, my guy. I can really see right. that, homie. Taking regular, right. regular, ordinary nine individual, to nine to five workers, street guys that, that, that want to do something different and putting them in roles, taking them out of their comfort zone, and putting them in rows, man, uh, and, and 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 to see the doors that it open up, uh, yeah, yeah, man, you talking about provide alternatives and resources, yeah, yeah, no, nah, it's yeah. big game, homie, it's big game. We we doing it, we doing it. Like I say, Charles and shit, we appreciate you coming down, like you know, and being able to see that. Like my whole goal, to be honest with you, was I wanted somebody, I wanted a couple people from outside to see to see what was going on. Like, yeah. I already knew what was going to go on, but I be wanting other people to see that so they can go back and tell others yeah, to yeah. shine the light on Jackson. So now we're bringing it to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We're trying, we're we looking to take it into Houston. Well, yeah, yeah, now, nah, nigga, we're looking to take double crosses, uh, as well as my movie, Checks and Balances, uh, uh, you know, man, with the brother Frederick Hawthorne. But now, nah, man, uh, what, what, let's take them back to crosses. So when they see double crosses, they can kind of have a, a, a concept of this. So uh, what, what, what made you write crosses? Uh, crosses, to be honest with you, bro, I was sitting in the house with really like, you know, with a pocket, with some money in my pocket, really just trying to see how I was going to invest it, bro. <coughs> and I'm sitting in this house and it's a group of guys. They always playing the PlayStation and shit like that. I don't play games. I really never, ever played like video games. So as as they get through between video games, they'll turn on Tubi or some, you know, DVDs and shit. So people walking in at the house and I kept on seeing their admiration for Murder Pain. I had never seen them or heard on my day in my life. But like I told Murder when I first met him, the movies looked like something I could shoot myself. Like, so I was like, well, shit, I could do that. You know, I told myself I can do that. So when I got home that night, I, I shot him an email. I, I knew some mutual friends, so I shot the people that was uh, working alongside Murder email, and they let me know what it take. And I was like, shit, I got that in my pocket right now. So I flew up to Detroit. And to be honest with you, uh, they told me about $10,000, man. And shit, once we got the shoe, man, that 10000 turned to fifteen, then turned to twenty, then turned to a hundred. So the, uh, just my... The, me wanting to learn when I got deep in about twenty or thirty thousand in the budget, I really was like no turning back. Like there's no way I'm gonna have a movie sitting in my head that the world ain't seen and it just sitting in my head. I even went to jail for a couple months. I showed the whole prison, 150 people a movie that weren't even out. You know what I'm saying? We all sitting there and watched it before the world even watched it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I got to finish. I got to put this shit out. It, you know, at times, a lot of times, I didn't even have the money to finish. You know what I'm saying? So I knew it was bigger than me. So like I say, shit, man, I just shot it, shot the whole movie in Jackson. I used a couple people in the city that I was, you know, close with. And I uh, reached out to a girl named Amaretta, Murder Pain. And shit, we did over 100 million streams on Tubi and uh, Amazon Prime. And like I said, I expected nothing. But uh, like I say, Charles, I mean, from you come, yeah. I mean, the people, you know, the city kind of, they be looking for stuff like that to support. So I ain't, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, it wasn't, it didn't amaze me or nothing. Like, they be looking for different shit to support. This, this my first year ever hearing a Tubi. Uh, 
I just started seeing Murder Pain face in movies of probably six months ago. When I mentioned his name, everybody knew him down here. Especially all the bro, all the females knew him. Yeah, yeah, everybody knew him. All the females yeah, knew him. Yeah, everybody knew him. You ain't got to tell me. It show up on our analytics on uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he said show up on the analytics, huh, man? <laughs> Oh, uh, but but listen, this this I guess this is what I'm trying to see. Uh, how does a movie get in somebody's head to come out into the movie? How 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 does that happen? Or oh, like you talking about the cre- uh, creative? Yeah, the creative side of it. Cause when I saw the movie, I said, man, these niggas write real life stories. Yeah, and I wrote I wrote all of it myself, Charles, and no help. Uh, I got a homeboy, uh, his name Walt, Walt Production. Uh, he directed it and produced it on, alongside uh, on me. I got a uh, a guy named Marlon Shepard. He helped executive produce it on, alongside of me. So I really, I got a team. So, but, but this is what I'm saying. As I'm, you talking about a nigga watching the movie, but you write this movie, so the movie seems real. I mean, this nigga writing about one of his homeboy life story. But the twist come, but when the twist come into the movie, what, what, how, how do you, man, that twist, how you put the twist, where do, where do the twist come from in a nigga head? Cause the, cause the, uh, do the mind twist for a nigga to put the? I mean, it's just a, it's, it's, it's basic level, uh, screenwriting level skill, but, uh, Cause like I say, it's a lot of people that's you know, it's a lot of people that I watch every day that's extremely good that I admire for their screenwriting. But the difference between me and a Hollywood screenwriter or anybody else, I'm writing stuff that I actually see, not something I read in a uh, mm-hmm. fiction, a, a fiction book or or a non-fiction book. You can yeah, tell though, you can tell. You're not taking a yeah. Okay, I got you. I got you. You can tell. You can tell. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, I seen it with my eyes. So. So like I say, it's hard for me to able to write, it's hard for me to write a story that's based off true events I seen with my own eyes and give it to people that went to uh, uh private schools to play the role. Even though I know they can because they train, but I just feel a little bit better knowing somebody. You need that spirit. Better. You need that spirit like your man got when he walked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when he played his role. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He really what it's that the, is. It's the energy, homie. Me and him, we've been knowing each other. We've been knowing each other for about 10 years. That's the big homie. Yeah, with the go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was clean in the bitch too. We haven't, we haven't been acquainted that long. We've been acquainted for probably about the last two or three years, but I've been knowing him for about 10 years. But like I said, we come from different areas of the uh, city. And so, uh, like, you know, he hung with different people that I hung with. And, you know, it's just two different, uh, two different areas of town. So uh, we ain't never been on one accord until now. And it's good that positivity brought us together. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Well, if it, it, nothing else. Up. That's what's up. Uh, I don't care what's going on in Jackson, Mississippi right now. Uh, that night, that night and who you brought together and what it did, it, it left an example. Uh, it left a, a blueprint and it left a manuscript uh, for the young yeah. to pick back up uh, when right. they when, when they come to their senses. Right. When it, you, it, yeah, when you know better, you do better. So what you I created what, the blueprint. Yeah, yeah. You created right, the blueprint, right. homie, from what I saw, when we got out, from what I seen, from we went on Parkway, I went to, we went to the red carpet. What I saw, homie, is that if we had most cities to do that right there. It'll stop the violence. The violence will be stopped, homie. Because what you did was, you put, like you said, just think about what you just said, homie. He gave him the light. I everybody want the light. Everybody want the light. You put, you put people in position to have a light. Red carpet, camera. Come on, say, man. No, Come no, on, no, man. no, 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 and, and, no. And it wasn't no hatred. You, but you was a neutral guy that said, I ain't got no black heart, homie. I ain't got no black card. I want to see everybody win. Do bad when you when that cash close, shit. All you got it. You ain't got no money. You ain't got no jewelry. All you got is your legacy and your word. What you put Bad out into this world. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so like when you, people be up, yeah, people be wanting me to manage them and work for them or do stuff like that. But I'm really here. I'm really here. Like, Amber Amber I'm re- yeah, I'm really like I'm really out for the people. And a lot of people, some people know it, some people do. But I'm really out for the people. Anyway, I can help anybody, especially if they black, bro. Like, it ain't it ain't just if they black too, Charles. And like, our, I'm I'm for our humanity. Like, you oh, know, our yeah, yeah. yeah I, well, you know, I saw I saw I saw your other uh your other producer guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Him, him, yeah. him, and his lovely wife, man. So yeah, I, I understand you trying to break uh, racial barriers, not create them. So yeah, yeah. I, I don't like. I don't want to speak on Sam, but I feel like Sam is 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 a little bit on the other side. So that be my whole thing of just trying to bring him over and show him that all people are not all black people might not be are not what you think they are, and all white people are not what we think they are. Yeah, yeah, well, me and Sam, me and Sam the kind of meet in the middle. I like, yeah, 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 me and Sam the kind of meet in the middle. Yeah, yeah. He said, me and Sam meet in the middle. <laughs> yeah, me and Sam meet in the middle. <laughs> Say, so, so, so let me ask you about, so you got crosses, and then rather than coming with crosses, too, you come with double crosses. Right. Uh, when did you come up with that concept? When you wrote crosses, or you come with crosses, double crosses after crosses? I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I'm gonna be all the way honest with you. I, I wrote crosses, and I wrote like I wrote about two or three more movies in between me writing double crosses. Mm-hmm. Damn, uh, uh, my goal, my goal is like. I'm using my movies in school. So each movie, um, my goal is to get better. Like uh, when I was in the movie theater, I was cringing. I was down in the seat because I'm watching my flowers. You were watching the good shit. I didn't see the good shit. I was watching my flowers. That's the type of person I am. So each movie, my goal is to get better. So I have wrote some movies in between that I felt like I'm waiting till I get better to shoot that one. You get what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. So double crosses is really just a whole bunch of street shit compiled up into one story. So that's easy. Like I can do that in my sleep. Like I'm, I've been living long enough to tell you a thousand street stories, man. So, but like uh, I just wrote one where it's, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna call it twelve people or mind games, but it's kind of like the uh, uh, it's really some you know a few people in the room trying to figure out how they can get out of the room, but more on the coming and black uh, standpoint. So I really been just really trying to write them crossover type of movies that uh mm-hmm. that a key Netflix or you know be able to win a couple of them, uh the music uh not music but the film, 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 film yeah right right yeah. right right so, yeah so this shit like school for me bro like I, I I went to school I spent a little money like ten fifteen thousand for you know the workshop but. The real school is me being hands on because I want to be hands on learning. And at the same time, I need to see some money coming in my bank account. I don't need to see y'all just taking money and me just learning. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm, I'll be hands on and learn. And at the same time, I need to make some money at the same time. So she, the people I met in school, I used a lot of the interns to, uh, you know, to get double crosses done and shit. Right, Use right. a lot of this shit. People don't even know it until you just really get in and, into it or trust them, but a lot of this shit at our fingertips, like the world is more independent now. We don't have www.com no more. We got Instagram. So you in control of your own narrative. You in control of your own brand. So why build my brand up and sell it to a, a white person or a company for and get, get them 75%? I take 25%, but I'm the one who got shot at, had to go sell this or go learn this or put myself in school. I'm the one who had to go through the real struggle. So I can't give up. Sending five percent for something that I don't, mm-hmm. you know, shit, blood, sweat, and tears. Oh, uh, so y- you you say it's it's at our fingertips. How do I find out? Uh, for 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 those that don't know, that wanna wanna get this, because I also found out that all this shit is at our fingertips. But mm-hmm. before right. I had to, I had to. It's, it's like I had to get in to find this out. How do you find out? It's at your fingertips. Let me tell you one thing about me that I can, I, I just want to let a lot of people know, like, I don't have one DM or one email when I'm asking another nigga to do something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I always, fi- I always mm-hmm. wanted to figure it out. I moved to California in 2012, no car with two other niggas, you know, spending rent. I didn't have shit but a book. 
So I started reading, like, I don't have the money to get a PR. How can I learn it myself? I don't have money to market. How can I learn how to do that myself? You know what I'm saying? So a lot of stuff is at our fingertips, but we were depending on another person to do it. So we so busy trying to be a superstar. And then once we feel like we got 10 or 15 niggas who want our nuts, we need to, we want to find somebody to manage, but that's not the case. Like you, you need to figure out how to market it. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to find nobody to manage or, or a manager. First of all, can't manage nothing if you ain't got nothing going on. Facts. You know what I'm saying? A, Facts. a manager is a man. Yeah. They manage. It's like, you got a manager at, at Kroger's a manager at this. They manage. They not a marketers. A marketer is damn near a business owner. You know what I'm saying? So, as an artist in 2022 or as anything that you're doing, you got to become, you got to have a business mentality. So from day one, I was trying to figure out the people who not rapping, what they doing and how they know what they know instead of the guys that's rapping because they look bad in five years. I want to see these guys because it's the same guys in these rooms that have been there for 20, 30 years. What do they know that these guys with the big chains on don't know? So I, I always that guy. Like, I'm, I'm the guy that was in the club Count up how many people in there and how much the promoter made. See you, you like me, man. Say, God you, damn it. You, 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 you know what you just, you know what you just, you know what you just showed me in my spirit, nigga. You picking up where Jay Z and Damon Dash left off with their movies. Yeah. But the thing about their tour charting with Jay Z, like, that's New York. This Jackson, Mississippi, man. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, think about this though. Remember, that's the last yeah, nah, era of the of, of the hood movie. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. I was just telling you, like, it's a big deal. It's hard, Jay Z. I don't think Jay Z could have did Jay Z from Jackson, Mississippi. No, 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 no. Well, you know, they 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 had some help, but but listen. But then you had you had uh uh ESG them man and and, and D got in them. They was doing the Dirty Third movie yeah, 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 down yeah, out yeah, of Houston. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the last, that's that last era. Everybody quit that and just everybody mm -hmm. put all their eggs in the rap basket. All their eggs in the rap basket. All the eggs went into the rap. I admire uh, Jay-Z, by the way. I admire Dame. I, uh, them, some of the people that I, uh, including Jay Prince, it's a couple of people that I kind of idolized as far as the whole blueprint of just the entertainment business. So, uh, Master P want. went into it. Yeah, the body body. Yeah, P went into it with the body body. Uh, Snoop Dogg and them with the, uh, uh, so uh, yeah. Now I I I I see you're a sharp young brother. Nah, real talk. You and, and you got and you got rappers around you. You put them rappers in them films too, and that gives yeah. them an extra notch on their resume. Exactly, exactly. Now nah, most definitely, bro. Like most definitely, I didn't have nobody around me that you know. The people that I was dealing with in music, nobody was trying to help us or put our stuff in movies and all shit like that, bro. So like I say, bro, you got one life and that's your legacy. If you want to go out as a, you know, fuck nigga or somebody that was selfish and all about yourself, then that's your life. Me, personally, money, not, you know, everything is really just trying to shine a light on other people around me, you know, and help those that, you know, that can't see that light to help themselves. So so let me, so let me ask you this. What, what, what would you tell to the to the young guys with the cameras that shoot the videos, just just stuck on video. Stuck on video. Uh, oh, no. my guy Walt, uh, the guy that actually uh shot to help me shoot the video. He co-directed, co-produced Walt Production. I actually was watching him for like a year or two before I even reached out to him, and uh he had been he's about he's about six or seven years younger than me, and uh. I, you know, locally, I kind of been uh, kind of popular for like about over 10 years where I'm from. So a lot of people kind of respect me uh, on a musical level and on a business level. So he's from about an hour out. So he was a fan of uh, my music. But like I say, we had never ever touched bases. And uh, we started working together probably about a year ago. And uh, I asked him, bro, do you think you shoot a movie? He was like, yeah. And I was like, shit, do you really think you can do it? He was like, yeah. So. Every, like I do everything I do, bro. I counted it down on the counter. That I kept on texting me every day, bro. I'm from the start. I'm from the start. It got close and close. He's like, I'm not ready. I was like, well, shit, if you're not ready, I basically was trying to shoot the shit like I'm going to just run with somebody else. But I was just trying to push him into getting ready. So uh, he from Mississippi. So shit. He never shot a movie before. And I think he did a damn good job. He was uh, enrolled in New York Film Academy. He got his best 
bachelor's degree. He went there three years. And I really just wanted to, you know, help him add something to his catalog coming fresh out of uh out of school. Good dude. Uh, oh. he's a leader. So she uh named Walt. So Yeah, shout out to Walt. When I seen him, uh when I seen him, uh I said he got the look. Yeah, yeah, he he, 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 he got he got the look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he Yeah, yeah, he got the look. It's a good dude, bro. And like I say, uh, another thing about the cameraman, like I'd have worked with almost all the cameramen you can name, any artists you name that shoot video from Dirk uh, all the way down to uh, Future. I'd have worked with all the cameramen. And uh, one thing in particular about me, I look for people who really want it and who kind of need it more. He was humble. He didn't ask me to do no work. He wasn't asking me to shoot no movie. He would just sit back in the corner. So like I say, yeah. you know, played his role and he stayed down. So I think, yeah, I don't want to choose nobody that, you know, I felt like I had some, I wanted to get somebody a try, basically, what I'm saying, bro. I'm, I'm all about giving yeah. people their first chance. Uh, I feel like they go hard. Oh, uh, yeah, man. I, I know a guy like, that was like that, just like you, man. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, his name was Keenan Ivory Wayne. Guy by the name of Keenan Ivory Wayans, mm-hmm. man, and because he did exactly what she was doing, he made a lot of big stars, man. He made a whole lot of stars. Huh? Jim Carrey, uh, 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 man, uh, what's that boy name? Jamie Foxx, uh, man, David Allen Greer, say no, nah, because he was doing what you did, homie, way back when. Nah, real life. Yeah, do Barry, like you never know, like who gonna be the best actor in the movie. So when I when I'm choosing people, I'm not expecting to be the best. I'm not expecting my cousin or I'm not expecting my sister to be the best actor. I'm putting everybody out in the forefront for the world to choose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Real talk. That's how you do it though. Yeah, it's, you know, and we take further action from there. Everybody, like I said, when you move off good energy, they know what I added to 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 their value. So I don't. You know, we all move with good energy. We a team. We're moving forward. Somebody contact them and shit. You know, that's a win for all of us. Yeah, yeah. man. Uh, and, and, and by the way, like you just said, the next movie, I'm the goddamn dog, man. I'm the nigga with all the goddamn pet bulls. Yeah. The next movie, I'm the nigga with all the pet bulls. You want a pet bull? <laughs> They speak high love you, bro. They speak very high love you. Junior baby spoke very high love you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them my guys, man. Yeah, Junior baby, like, you know, shit, like I said, he spoke very high love you. So shit, uh, there wasn't no more, nothing else more to say. And I know if Charleston came down here one deep, you had to be a hell of a nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so listen, man, so uh so 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 what's next? So double cross is hit. Why we gotta wait so long, man? Uh, shit, I mean, uh, with us being an independent team, what you see is what you get right here. So I'm really just trying to build the uh, anticipation a little bit more, the engagement a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the more you make people want it and trying to find it, the more, you know. Because they show sure asking for it. They asking Say, man, for it they, like man, a mother, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, they running, yeah, they running me crazy about it. You got to think about that uh, with the platform once they uh, solidify, once they give me an actual date, drop date shit. Man, I'm gonna get in a Tahoe, uh, two or three Tahoe, man. We're gonna ride the whole country and paint these st- service station, paint these hoods up. Already. So, 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 so let me see. So, so the end of this month, we'll have about 30 days left. So, we bringing it, we bringing, uh, Measy bringing double crosses to the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. So, we're trying to get two shows, but we got one book for show in Dallas, uh, on, on June 25th, I think, uh, I forget. Uh, the 26th, yeah, the 26th. June 26th. Everybody in the city better come out and see the movie, man. We got them Jackson, Mississippi niggas man, coming out. Man, them Detroit boys coming out. Them Detroit in. niggas uh, coming out here. Yeah, yeah, we man. We got uh, Charles and White in the building. They're going to yeah, be dressed yeah, yeah. like a goddamn me. Uh, I don't know. No. Uh, How you going to dress this time? I'm, I'm going to get a tux. What? Yeah, yeah man. I'm going to, I'm going, man, that, that the producer, the, uh, the producer, nigga, walk. Nigga, I'm going, I'm going to get that same peach motherfucking velvet suit <laughs> walk. Hey, nigga. Hell you talking about, nigga? That same motherfucker. Hey, nigga, I'm going to get that peach <laughs> suit, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, me and Talk Jack. <laughs> so, nah, man, uh, Murder Pain going to be in town for the premiere. Uh, man, we got, uh, I think, uh, we got, man, we got quite a few people gonna be in town for the premiere, man. So, uh, 
Uh, it's go, it's go be big, man. It's go be loud, right? Yeah, we ain't gonna Dallas. let them know the celebrities though, because they see the, oh, 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 who going Okay, we coming too. Nah, nah, we ain't letting y'all know the celebrities that's gonna be the. Just know we got some celebrities that's gonna be in the building. Yeah, so, yeah. Y'all come out and have a good time, man. What's up? What's up? Already, man. Shout out to my man Gio over there at K one hundred and four, man. And shout out to uh uh, he ain't here, man. We gotta get Parkway on here too, man. Yeah, yeah man. I gotta get my boy on here, man. You know what I'm saying? Parkway just flew in. His family, uh, he just flew his family to Orlando. Uh, when he just left LA yesterday and flew to Orlando. Oh, uh, who who was your little partner name? Little Migo. Yeah, Little Migo. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Little Migo yeah, too, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like I like to interview him too, man. Mingo a real good nigga, bro. They very rare that I meet an artist like uh, him and uh, Breeze, and they, you know, they whack them up with open arms, bro, and they, whatever resources theirs is ours. So, like, he he a part of the team, bro, whatever, you know, he family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what's up, man. So, man, we gonna make it happen, man. We locked in, fam. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I I thank God for a lot of things, but, man, I most definitely uh, thank God for this connection. Uh, it, it, it's been 100. It's been 100 from 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 the from the start. Uh, and, and when yeah, and, and when God is involved in something, homie, it ain't no confusion. It ain't no discord. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. So uh, just I, yeah, I gotta yeah. tell you one thing before, before we get off. I got a homeboy named Stowe, man. He said let the let the GDs make it, man. Yeah, I won't <laughs> let them make it, then, man. Tell Stowe, yeah, tell Stowe, I'm gonna let the GDs make it, man. <laughs> Say on the on behalf of Stowe and growth and development. Yeah, yeah, on behalf of Stowe and growth and development. Hey, man. yeah, man. Yeah. Say, let me let me tell y'all this story here, man. Say, so, you know, when you came to the, uh, uh, what was that? The Cracker Barrel? Yeah. You know, we went to the Cracker Barrel. Oh, yeah, boy, GD nigga jumped out Say. of it. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Say, listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> we had yeah. a long, say, we had yeah. a long walk to that Cracker. Say, man, the GD nigga jumped out on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jackson. The nigga, the GD nigga jumped out and said, oh, man, dude, uh, Charleston. Oh man, I'm a goddamn fan. And get what he said. Men lay off the GDs, man. Say, uh, <laughs> but listen, hey, 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 and me and me and Dewberry were walking. We didn't realize how far this motherfucker was. So man, yeah. we, nigga, we don't want to. This nigga is talking about it's right down the street right here. <laughs> Man, nigga, my legs with the hurt like a motherfucker. Say, we went deep off in there. He had the six point stone, his chain, and everything. So I saw the nigga peeping up. So he done got to jump on him. I know, I, but he don't. He don't see it's me. Oh, uh, cause I had my little thing on. Man, that nigga had that thigh y'all on him. But he, you know, you see it, he positioned it. He, you can see it. He re, yeah, he ain't playing. Oh, uh, yeah, man, that nigga, yeah, man, we. No, no, no. The thing about it, then, like, like I say, I stand on your message too. Like I tell people, like, there's no way to go at you with so statement coming back that you against any black person or any person that's killing another person. It just, you know, up under the, you know, a lot of organizations, they kind of like family oriented and they kind of live and die by it. And they have no other understanding as far as like what you got going, they look at you as like a reality. They look at you like they uncle. Yeah. So yeah. It, they don't look at you like a movie that you see on TV that's painted and colored real good they look like some with Steven Spielberg yeah, shot. Yeah. They look at you as raw. And see, and what and what I was telling homie, I said, homie, we really don't know nothing about GDs and BDs right, down right, here in Texas. Right, yeah. Right, right. I mean, the thing about it is, like, you know, that ain't nothing to really get into. It just, I well, feel well, like that's a whole nother world inside of, well, you know. Well, well, let me just say this. Because of drill music, we now have to understand it. We, we be, because of, because of, because of the culture and our acceptance of drill music and the influence of drill music, well, as, 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 as youth workers and as youth workers, as teachers, as parents, we have to understand it so we don't pass judgment and we can come up with more solutions than trying to condemn the babies for doing what we all once treaded into. You, you see what I'm saying? In, in the rest of the world, I think it's mostly uh, 
understanding and uh, love in Chicago is really more so of a war thing. So I don't think they culture really reflect on nothing else nobody got going because where I'm from, you don't have that going on. Yeah, Nobody yeah. killing each other over over no gang affiliation. So like I said, that's more of a Chicago or, you know, a bigger city. Cause you know, them big cities gotta have more ways to kill us black people, like more than A's and, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, other yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, so they, so yeah. they gonna put, they gotta put other stuff in there to kill off the, you know, the bigger cities that's populated six or seven million. You know that are you know beside COVID and the rest of the other stuff. So in smaller cities like the one I'm in, you know, it's really not needed because you know the neighborhood that you beefing with is is right down the street. And as soon as you go to that same service station to get gas, one of y'all gonna end up probably like blowing each other brains out. So the government know where to put these different type of situations in and where it's not needed. It so. Like I say, it's bigger than these people. It's bigger than Chicago, but they don't, they don't even gonna see that, so. Good point to bring, good point to bring the closure, man. We got murder coming on next, so we gonna catch him next week when, when y'all get here, in a few weeks when y'all get here. Love, bro, see y'all soon. Man. I already, I already peace, peace and love. love.